My name is Kate and I want to be Oregon's next kid governor. I believe I can make a difference in our community. My leadership qualities and skills include being responsible, helpful, trustworthy, innovative, and organized. I am leading by example. I have participated in community projects such as collecting donations for girls in need, volunteered to paint faces at a local art fair, collected donations for the food bank, made Valentine's cards for seniors, and much more with my Girl Scout troop. At school, this is my second year of student council, and I have been able to contribute to the success of our school. Not only doing good things for our community, I am also passionate about animals. For a couple of years, I've noticed how pollution is affecting animals in our community, and maybe you have too. I've seen it at the beach, in the mountains, in the forest, even in my neighborhood. Stray dogs eat old cans, birds get tangled in plastic bags, and whales get stuck in old fishing nets and drown. Those are only some of the examples of how pollution is a threat to our land and sea animals. It is estimated that over one million animals die after becoming entrapped or ingesting litter each year. That is an alarming amount. As fifth graders, we can take action together to save animals by using my three-point plan, PAN. First, the P stands for picking up garbage at the beach, forest, mountains, or in your community. You can plan a day to pick up trash with your friends and family once a month at different places. For example, I picked up litter on Earth Day last year with my cousin Luis on the street where Luis and her family live. We couldn't believe how much garbage we found in a short amount of time. To encourage fifth graders to help with this, I would make posters about how picking up trash benefits both land and marine animals. Next, the A stands for adopting an endangered animal of your choice. Adoption helps more than just one animal. You're giving more animals a better life, and the cost of your adoption also helps animals at a shelter, zoo, or aquarium receive better care. So on your birthday or Christmas, you can ask for an animal adoption instead of gifts. You can raise funds to adopt animals as well. Last Christmas, I asked my parents for money to adopt an otter at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. His name is Nuka. The aquarium sent me a certificate of adoption, information about Nuka, and the stuffed otter. I was happy I got to help out. To encourage fifth graders to help with this, I would make a video that teaches kids about animal adoption and how to do it. Finally, the M stands for making your yard a friendly place for animals. You can do as little as putting up a bird feeder or as much as planting a lot of trees and flowers in your yard. At our house, we put up a bird feeder in our front yard and planted a lot of roses in our backyard. We have seen a lot of birds and even a couple of butterflies. To encourage fifth graders to help with this, I would make a vlog and explain how you can make your yard a nice place for animals. My blog will be a place for fifth graders to share their work and share what animals that visit their gardens. So you can see pollution is effect negatively impacting our animals and it is one of the major issues our community is facing. I believe that my three point plan will make a big difference for animals. Remember, Pam, pick up trash, adopt an animal, make your yard animal friendly. Vote for Kate to make Oregon better. Thank you.